Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty cool one here for you guys. This is the Aki Wireless Charging Hub. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wireless charging hub, what does that mean? Well, I'm about to show you guys and it's pretty cool. So this is the packaging it comes in. I wanna thank Aki for sending this out free for review to show to you guys. Uh, it is all sealed up. So let's just rip this off and see what we've got inside. All right, so here it is. Let's open it up and pull this thing out. So we've got the user manual. We've got their little uh, warranty card. Let's put that to the side. Hopefully we don't need it. And that is all we've got in the box. We can set that off to the side as well. And here is the device itself. So uh, obviously this end, you guys can see, it is USB-C. Uh, I'll focus that for you guys right now. USB-C right there. So this should work with pretty much any MacBook right now. And this is actually a USB-C hub and wireless charger for your phone. Super cool combo. Uh, definitely interested to see how this works. You guys can see it's got a grip down here, which is fantastic. And then down here, we've got two USB 3.0 ports as well as a power delivery uh, USB-C port and an HDMI port as well for your external monitors. And of course, the top of it, you should be able to set your phone on it and have it wireless charge. We will see once we plug it in. Let's plug this thing in and see how it works. So first of all, I'm just gonna plug it in here to my USB-C port on my MacBook Pro. And immediately you guys will see this has turned green. So that's a good sign. Uh, let's just make sure that the USB-A hubs are working. So I'm just gonna use this Aki wireless charger as an example. I did a review on this, go check it out. My favorite wireless charger right now, uh, especially for the price. So let's plug this thing in and boom, green light is on, that is a good sign. So let's go ahead and get the iPhone on, make sure it charges, of course it does, no issues there. So USB-A is working great. I've tested the other ports off camera uh, and they all work fine as well. So two USB-A ports right here, fantastic that they have that uh, because these are probably the most needed port on the MacBook Pro. Um, then over here, you got an HDMI port as well as a 60 watt Thunderbolt 3 power delivery port. So you can, if you've got like a MacBook Air or something that only has one port, you plug this in, plug the charger in there, and it will still charge your Mac while you've got all these extra ports. Super convenient, very happy they did that. Now you may be wondering, hey, what about that wireless charging aspect? Hey, what happened to your thumb? Well, let me tell you, those are both related in this story. So. When I was using this before and testing it all out, I thought that you could just plug it in and drop your phone on it and it would charge. It doesn't do that. So my next logical thought was, well, maybe I got a defective unit. So I tried to prod this up and let me tell you, this thing is so solidly built. Look, you can see one of the corners I didn't fully push down yet. This thing is so solidly built, I could not get this top off. I don't know what they've done, but I could get my fingernail under there and pull it and it ripped up my thumb, but I could not get under this. Luckily, I'm just an idiot, and this thing actually works perfectly fine. This light up here is supposed to turn orange when it is ready to wireless charge, and guess what? I just needed to plug something else in. So when you're gonna try to wireless charge on this, you have to have another USB-C power port plugged into this, so it needs more power, basically. So naturally, I brought up my MacBook Pro charger and plugged it in, and immediately, you heard that, my MacBook Pro starts charging and this light turns orange, which means it's ready for a device. So here is the iPhone, place it on there, starts charging perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. As you guys can see, it turns back to amber when it's waiting for a device. And I guess that makes sense because if you're just gonna have this on your desk, uh, you would probably always have power plugged in so that your Mac charges and stays charged. I wish it was a little bit more clear uh, that you had to have this plugged in uh, to charge the, to use the wireless charger. Uh, but it does make sense nonetheless to have all that power uh, going into here and some of it being used to wireless charge. I'm sure it's in the user manual and everything, but uh, it just seems a little bit tough for the average consumer, especially if I'm not getting it right out the box, other people probably won't either. So I am super pleased with this though. Overall, this is awesome, especially if you leave your Mac docked at your desk. I mean, why not just have this plugged in all the time? Literally just in this exact setup with power going in, wirelessly charge your phone when you sit down, boom, no issues. And then you've got all these extra ports. I mean, seriously, two USB-A's, charging port for your Mac and an HDMI. These are pretty much the basics that everyone would need, especially if you have an external monitor. So definitely check this out. This is one of the most unique products that I've seen, especially with the wireless charger aspect. I don't think I've seen another product like it, uh, especially for the price, you really can't beat it. So one more thing, I do wanna say it can fast charge up to 10 watts. So uh, if you've got an iPhone, iPhones can only do 7.5 watts anyway, so it doesn't matter. If you've got an Android phone, up to 10 watts uh, on this thing, if you've got the power properly supplied. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up, product link down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, this is definitely gonna be added as a blooper or something at the end, but I just realized when I'm tearing down the set here, uh, I unplugged this from my Mac and kept it plugged into the charger. It's still a wireless charger. You can literally still have this thing 
use as a wireless charger even when it's not plugged in. Kind of cool. That's actually something very useful for on the road. If you just need a quick wireless charger, sweet.